know that Diamond's manager lost a wife and of course he has been receiving condolences from the, the whole of East Africa and Diamond's associates. People have escorted um, Diamond for this burial and amongst them even Harmonize attended but Diamond's manager refused to greet Harmonize at Babu Tale's wife's burial. My name is Juliana, it's the East Africa Social Television. Babu Tale buried his wife yesterday in a highly emotional affair at Morogoro, his ancestral home. And yes, I'm not speaking about the sins of Daman's manager weeping for his late wife, Shamsa Kombo Tale. He really, 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 really mourned. That was expected that Tale would be so torn after losing the mother of his children. The thing that left many in shock was the behavior that Diamond's manager Salam SK unleashed on former WCB crew member Harmonize. He was just there to send his condolences, to say goodbye to someone that he knew. I don't know why they had to show him beef. This was seen on a video doing the rounds on social media where Salam seemed to have pulled a pity move on the blonde haired singer. Kwanini, Kwaheri? Is there a reason? You will let us know if you think it was the right thing to do. I, for one, think it was fake. Now in the video, Salam uh, seems to avoid greeting Harmonize when the Uno singer extended his hand to greet him. The action received a lot of backlash, especially considering that it was happening at a funeral, which is considered a sacrosanct for most battles. I mean, this is a place where by even enemies can talk. Juma Lakole, Diamond's friend, decided to support Salam's reprehensible behavior, but fans were having none of it. And told him as much. In fact, his supportive comments unleashed a new torrent of emotion from them, with Salim getting some of the worst hate mail he has ever gotten. What the incident also shows is that there is still some heal feeling left despite the relative uh, indifference shown by the Wasafi uh, crew after Harmonize left in 2019. We all thought they had cleared the air, he paid them off, and he moved on. But there's still some bad luck. Diamond and his crew have been silent on the issue and have rarely spoken about their former hit maker. Funny thing is that Harmonize was the one who has thrown the majority of the shade at his former label. He has gone on to record complaining about the 22 million he had to pay WCB in order to break his contract with them. Not only that, but the blonde haired singer has taken subtle digs at Diamond, alleging that he is responsible for rich. Mavoko's career's sterling. But at one time when he was in Nigeria, he also praised Diamond as one of the most talented artists we have in East Africa. That's it for now. We can have uh, your comments on this story in the comment section. And may the soul of uh, Tale's wife rest in peace.